Yo, what's up, Internet? It's RJ with Road to Liberty today. And I want to do a video talking about flag burning. So check it out. Um, flag bur burning is in the news right now. I'm like, burn, burn, bing, burning. Just woke up recently, as you can tell. I'm a little crusty-eyed and like kind of like, whatever. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm chilling outside here. It's the house chilling in my uh, old school chair. Anyway, flag burning. So flag burning is in the news uh, recently because um, a couple people, I don't know, I'm guessing Democrats, uh, but or left, I don't know, maybe it wasn't. I, I, I really can't bear to stomach the mainstream news for too long. I could see something happening and then I glean what I want to glean from it. Like I could do a video on Trump, Melania Trump, plagiarizing supposedly at Michelle Obama's uh, speech, but that's not my uh, mood right now. So anyway, so flag burning. Um, some people were burning flags at the Republican National Convention, and some people, some other people are in uproar over this. Um, I saw someone on my Facebook feed share, and it's always CNN, right? They're sharing the CNN link. Anytime a person on the left is sharing something on Facebook recently and being incensed by it. Like, meaning they're, like, upset and crazy and like, oh, I can't believe this. Oh. It's either CNN as the source or sometimes it's the Young Turks. Either way, one is more terrible than the next. Um, I'm not sure which way that goes. I think the Young Turks is more terrible based on their daily show level of editing and moral high ground and bias um, and lack of proper journalism. Anyway, getting off topic. So, flag burning. What do I think? What should you think? Take my ideas. No, I'm just kidding. Flag burning, right? So, here's what I think. So, anyway, so, um, the dude that commented on that shared post said something like, oh, I don't care what people say. If you burn a flag, you should be put to death. Burning a flag is treason or whatever. Something like that. So I had to jump in. I had to jump in. I wanted to jump in. So I jumped in and I was like, whoa, bro. Doesn't the First Amendment say something about freedom of expression? Something like, holy cow. And uh, so then the original poster said something like, hey, man, I agree with you and disagree with you on a lot of things you post. But if any of my friends are in favor of burning flags, then I'm not sure I want to be friends with them. And I didn't want my political or philosophical view on something to destroy your friendship so I was like trying to tread carefully here because this guy's a good guy I think in 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 most regards They're nearly most all regards right so I go um something that I say oh, I was like um so look I was like I'm not saying I'm in favor of burning flags all I'm saying is if you want to put someone to death for burning a flag that's insanity and I said, look, at the end of the day, if you want to burn a flag, go ahead. <laughs> as long as you paid for it, right? That's what I said. I said, as long as you paid for it. Your flag, you bought it, you want to burn it, God bless you. You want to burn a, a, a bag of chips, great. You want to burn a freaking steak on the, stove, on the grill and, and make it inedible, fine. I think it's a stupid idea. Why waste your money? But if you're burning a flag to make a point, okay, fine. Don't burn my flag, right? Don't come to my house and burn my stuff. So I said, so he, he, he didn't, it seems like he calmed down after that. Cause he, you know, he didn't even respond to me. He responded to the first person that responded to him and said, Hey, I think the guy's name was Frank or whatever. Like, Hey, you know, while I think your attitude is a little, uh, extreme, he said, I respect your patriotism and something, something, whatever. So, right. So here's my thing on flag burning and I'm going to wrap it up. Right. It's like anything else, right? Like, if you see someone flashing gang symbols as you drive by, you're driving through an area and you see someone throwing up gang symbols or whatever, are you going to go, oh, that looks fun. I want to join a gang. I want to see if I can join that gang. Or if you see someone on the corner smoking crack and you have never smoked crack in your life and you don't like the notion of smoking crack, are you going to be like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should smoke crack. No, you're not. <laughs> At the same point in time, 
why, why can we see other people making poor choices in different areas? See someone hitting their kids, and, and you're a good parent, and you're a nonviolent parent. Do you go, oh, man, I want to hit my kids? Of course not. Now, do you think, man, I wish I could do something. I wish I could help that kid. Sure, it's a person. You see someone burning a flag, it's like, like this, this, this trigger goes off in a lot of people's heads, you know, American or otherwise, where you're like, oh, no, like, I got to do something. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> it's just a flag. Like, all, you're do- all they're really doing is helping the flag industry because they're creating more demand for flags. The more flag, like, if I, if I buy a, uh, any product and then I destroy it, that company likes that. If I buy a BMW and then I crash it, guess what? All the better. BMW got their money. They can reinvest that money in making new cars, in promotions, in whatever. And there's one less BMW on the road. So they got the money. Now if I want a new BMW, I got to go buy a new one. Or I got to buy a used one, which takes a used car out of the market, which makes, again, one less BMW available. So it creates scarcity. With scarcity, when supply goes down and demand remains constant, prices go up. So anyway, so all the person is doing by burning a flag is creating more demand for that flag. And giving more profit to the company that makes flags, making it easier for the flag company to stay in business, right? A little free market for you. I might have to take a pause on this video because the neighbor's dog's about to come bark at me. But um, let me pause it real quick. Hello, puppy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, um, left off on the free market tip. So check it out. So... <sighs> Last thoughts. I said that already, but last, last thoughts. If you're burning a flag, right, uh, or if someone's burning a flag and it makes you upset, think about this, right? Does it, does it challenge your patriotism? If you love your country, whether you're from America or you're from, you know, Australia or you're from Zimbabwe, and you see someone burning a flag, does it make you feel different? And should it make you feel different, right? It's like, oh, there's a person that doesn't love their country. Well, that doesn't have to affect how I feel about my country, right? Like, oh man, they don't love their country. Oh, okay, I know that. It's like if I see two two dudes kissing or making out, I'm not like, oh, am I gay? Should I kiss a man? No. (laughs) I say, oh, those two guys like to kiss men. They like to be gay. Okay. Doesn't change how I feel about sexuality. My doggy's back. So it's like, hi, puppy. So that's the thing, right? So it's like, okay, somebody wants to burn a flag. Big deal. Good for them. They're happy. Great. It, it's like, if you're insecure about your patriotism, right? Like you're like, ah, oh, man, I love America. But if I see anyone who doesn't love America, I'm going to flip out and get mad at them. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. It's like, it should, it should, if anything, it should, it should, if you love your country so much, it should make you feel more in love with your country you should see someone burning a flag and go you know what it's a good thing in america somebody can burn a flag and that's their right we live in a country where that person isn't executed or thrown in jail if you say oh there's someone burning a flag let's kill them well what what in god's name does america stand for if not for the first amendment of freedom of expression someone can do something stupid as long as it's not harming anybody else and it's not against the law they're not going to jail so it's like to anybody who is reacting violently or in rage when they see someone burning a flag please tell me right please tell me why in god's name do you possibly get so upset and and violent like how does it affect you if someone else destroys their property if I throw a watermelon off my balcony and it smashes on the ground and it amuses me, is it going to make you that upset and that violent to see someone smash their watermelon? Well, that watermelon doesn't stand for anything. Really, a flag only means something if you put value to it. If someone's mad at America and they burn the flag, it's actually great that they can express. But, you know, I think it's not the greatest. I think they could use words. Or make a video like this and, and say what it is that they're upset about and try to make something happen. If they just say, well, I'm mad at America and I'm going to burn a flag. Is that detailed, well thought out expression? No, of course not. But it's still freedom of expression. 
who is it harming? If you're so insecure about your patriotism that you need everyone else to be patriotic, then what good is your patriotism? What kind of example are you setting that you're a fragile little egg and if someone burns a flag, you're going to go ape shit? Explain that to me. So anyway, guys, that's what I'm talking about today with flag burning. Beep. Um, same old shit. Like, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. And uh, more later. Peace.